Hi guys, the aim of this screencast is to show you how the selection uh, uh, toolbar works. That's the default. As you can see, I have here a vector layer, which the selection toolbar works on vector layers. It selects features. Features are, in this case, points. Let's zoom in. You can see it's a point layer, but it could have been lines layer or polygon layer. And each point is a feature. This is associated with a line in the attributes table. So every line here represents a point on the map and every point has some data. So the first thing is geographic selection. It can be using a rectangle or a polygon which you paint on the map. Or freehand or a circle. But you can also select using a value. Let's say depth of 1.2 meters, select features, I can't really see the selected features so maybe if I do zoom to features I'll see them but I don't, but maybe if I show them on the table So here's one, those are the points that are 1.2 meters deep. And that's the select by table. And there are a few minor options is invert selection. Almost everything now is yellow selected. Select all features, select features by expression, which is something more elaborated than what I've shown you. And this one is deselect. And the last one, select from one layer using a la another layer. I won't demonstrate it now, but it's nice. Let's say I plot houses here and I want to see the points that fall inside the houses. But the important thing is that we are done.